And I'm very pleased to introduce next Dr. Jaming Dong from Huawei. Uh, he's the Chief User Experience Architect and Senior Design Director at Huawei. And uh, in his many years of experience, he has covered a wide range of um, areas in the user experience field, including the strategy, information architecture, interaction design, and standards. And uh, his contributions are widely cited. Uh, one of the projects uh, that he led recently has won some important awards, and he's going to talk a little bit about that today. I'm very pleased to introduce to you Jian Ming Dong, who's going to talk about the user experience in immersion and how studying that can help to design better immersive experiences. Dr. Dong. So thank you for the opportunity. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to uh, share with you a case study. Well, I'm going to share with you a case study um, of a user-centered design for uh, immersive communication. So uh, when we talk about uh, immersion, uh, immer uh, immersive uh, experience, uh, people often think about immersive technology, right? Uh, so if you do a Google search, you probably see something like this, right? Uh, there are a lot of uh, very cool technologies out there, uh, parametric display, uh, head-mounted headsets, um, uh, natural interaction schemes, stuff like that. Uh, some are probably very cutting edge, some are even bleeding edge technologies. Um, uh, but if you look at the industry uh, or look at products, uh, it's not very fancy, actually. Um, so this is an um, a image of a typical telepresence system. Right? So when we talk about uh, immersive uh, communication in industry, a lot of people are saying, hey, are you talking about telepresence? Right? So this is actually a system that's been out there for about 10 years. Uh, it was uh, first introduced uh, in 2006, I think, um, in our marketing show by Cisco. And then um, it's been uh, 10 years now. Uh, the form factor of the um, product hasn't changed that much. So uh, you see the earlier presentation, uh, Professor Jeremy showed you the evolution of the um, head-mounted uh, display. You see the evolution of that technology. But this technology is, is a quite a contrast, right? Over 10 years, not a whole lot of changes. Uh, so uh, this product basically, from a user's perspective, uh, has uh, several kind of selling points. Uh, one is that uh, it uses or uh, installed in a dedicated uh, meeting space. And uh, all the people are displayed in life size. And also, uh, there's some material sharing capabilities for the people to discuss materials during the meetings. So um, in the last uh, you know, 10 years or so, um, while this product maintains its own shape, um, the discussions are mostly around features. Right? For example, people are discussing how could we can improve the audio quality, uh, the lighting, right? or maybe make the camera better, uh, reduce the gap between the uh, the screens, right? Maybe improving um, the uh, screen size or the resolution. And also the gaze alignment, right? Uh, some of the systems still having the challenge that people do not feel the other people are looking at you, right? So how you can uh, improve the system so that you feel like the other person is actually looking at you. So those are all very typical, you know, uh, technology things that people are thinking about uh, over the past many years. About a couple of years ago, uh, you know, my team received a challenge, a design challenge. Uh, what is the next generation of telepresences, right? Is this product going to keep going through the incremental changes of those specs? And that's an interesting uh, question. So when we received the challenge, um, one of the natural things we're thinking is, hey, you know, we have uh, the telepresence system now on the left side. Now we have a lot of immersive technologies, right? Is it, would the next generation of telepresence be, you know, incorporating those technologies into the meeting space, 
into the telepresence system to make it look like real, okay, on the right side. So um, if you think deeply, you know, uh, there are probably some uh, hurdles, I mean, uh, especially when a company introduces a product, they have to think about a lot of things instead of just the technology itself. Uh, the first thing is uh, the meeting habits, right? People are used to going into a telepresence meeting, uh, sitting in that kind of environment. Um, think about people have to wear a mask, right? Going into a meeting, right? Or think about people have to like sit into a theater-like environment to be to attend a meeting. That's a big change. So um, how far are we from that state yet? The second is uh, technology readiness, right? So a lot of the uh, technologies are still newly introduced, right? There are probably you know, bandwidth constraints. Uh, there are probably frame rate constraints. Uh, there are a lot of other things, like dizziness, uh, that uh, we've been uh, still um, investigating. The last thing uh, is actually the most critical, I think, um, is the face-to-face -face limitation. So assuming you, know, you do all this stuff, right, and then you achieved face-to-face, -face, uh, truly immersive, uh, you know, um, holy grail, right? Um, is it the best state uh, of communication? Actually, you know, if uh, we are in the meeting room and some people appear smaller than the others, if I want to see one person on the back very clearly, it's not very easy, right? So, I mean, and also if he shows me some kind of materials, I cannot see well from a distance. So, in the physical space, internal communication is not ideal, actually. So, facing all these questions, uh, we have to think about it more deeply what exactly immersive communication means, right? So we're doing this, this uh, simple exercise here, immersive education. So the previous slides were all talking about immersive, right? Or we call sensational immersion, right? You're talking about how to immerse yourself into a 3D environment uh, you know, using certain technology, right? But how about communication, right? We're actually designing something not just to immerse with the environment, but to better communicate. So uh, we also ca we call this one uh, psychological immersion, or a psychological presence, as uh, Dr. Balanson mentioned earlier on. So um, when we turned into focusing on communication, uh, we had a lot of other ideas, and also that triggered uh, that triggered us to do some more deep research. So uh, we spent uh, about four months um, uh, on a, a number of uh, research activities, including uh, interviews, uh, field observation, uh, expert review, and also we listened to over a thousand calls uh, from the call center recording uh, to basically identify what uh, the uh, telepresence uh, problem uh, is. Uh, so. Uh, so after that, uh, we identified uh, uh, several opportunities. Uh, given the time constraint, uh, I'm not going to go into this uh, one uh, in details. The first one is that uh, we need to focus more on people, right? Uh, instead of just the environment or face-to-face -face, uh, uh, visual quality. Second is uh, we need to open more to personal devices uh, because people are carrying their phones or their mobile devices more and more than before. And the last thing is uh, we need to explore more ways to collaborate. Um, in one of the books uh, that was published uh, by uh, Richard Florida, he claimed that more and more people claim themselves as a creative class, meaning that they go to a meeting willing to contribute rather than just listen in. So we need more ways to collaborate. So with these uh, new ideas, uh, we had um, produced a video. Uh, uh, let me just uh, play that right now. The way we work is changing. We are no longer defined by where we work, but by how we work. Meetings are more fluid, collaborative, and global. Today, telepresence aims to create experiences so immersive they feel like reality. But the future can be better than reality. The future can be augmented presence. 
moving away from technology and dedicated spaces, augmented presence is centered on people. It focuses on you. When you do need a physical space, augmented presence simplifies and enhances your meeting experience. From the moment your meeting is scheduled, Meeting Concierge, a cloud-based software platform, takes control of the logistics. As you check in, your icon appears on the center stage where you can see other attendees and their basic information at a glance. While you wait, preview the day's agenda on your device at hand. As organizer, you can start the meeting. Optimize viewability by prioritizing location views and content for all participants. In each location, the center stage always displays the current speaker. As in theater, the main screen is the front stage with the center stage holding the primary focus. The most important interactions and sharing happen center stage. The system also enables a backstage integrating your personal devices. This backstage provides a public forum for sharing and communicating deeper, richer, contextual information supporting the meeting. Control what backstage content you receive and how it's managed on your devices to support a better meeting experience. If you have a comment or a question, simply tap the question icon. Your icon goes to the question queue on the right side of the front stage screen. When it's your turn to speak, your image enlarges in your location or moves to center stage giving you control of the meeting. Have a question about a standard process, but the person with the answer can't be present? Pre-record a message and verbally tag it to be called up when you're ready. Provide information to support your presentation by preloading and verbally tagging contextual content. View, tag, and save contextual content for later review using your personal devices. You can even share with teammates not in the room using the public sharing forum, all without disrupting the meeting flow. Review people's professional network and bios to better understand their point of view and their relationships to each other. Find a part of the meeting particularly interesting? Select the tab and use real-time speech-to-text tagging to take virtual notes. Want to share a document? Simply flick it to center stage for all to see. The system allows you to quickly shift into collaboration mode Teams use the digital whiteboard to collaborate with other locations instantly. Build on ideas and share with each other without leaving your location. By focusing on people's needs, Augmented Presence provides you the most flexible meeting experience in telepresence. Huawei's telepresence focuses on you. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.